If you watched my previous videos, you know that I use NeoVim in VS Code. There is the usual extension of the Vim extension and also the NeoVim extension. And I show both of, the, both of them off somewhat in one of my videos that's going to pop up to you right now. And if you didn't watch my previous videos, well, now you know, and you should also watch my previous videos. So, uh, with the NeoVim extension, what is actually happening is you have an actual instance of NeoVim. So, you can have uh, an init.vim, but also an init.lua. And that to interact with the vim in your VS Code. Which means that you can also create uh, commands from vim that call VS Code functions. And how to do that, I also explain in one of my videos. So here, what I do is have this function and that calls the function of VS Code notify. Uh, that does some VS Code command. But what if after calling the command, I also want to do something else within vim? Usually, I would use the normal command to execute that, but sometimes the normal command is limited. For example, I have tried to use the normal command to go into visual mode, move somewhere, because say we are in visual mode right now, and I press O, I can move around the selection. This actually really helps in movement sometimes. Let me show you an example. Let's go to my usual, um, like, test thing, uh, one of my classes that's pretty good for testing, uh, I do, so I just did VAB and let me toggle screencast mode so you can see what I'm actually doing. And here I can go to different ends of the function, while usually there's not really a way for me to do this in normal mode. I have to go uh, to visual mode to get use of this feature. So I tried to make use of that in normal mode and it didn't really work. To be fair, maybe I just didn't understand something and it's on my part, but still I had this restriction. So essentially, what if I want to do some logic and then just pass some vim bindings, essentially. What if I want some characters to be typed? Because usually what happens is uh, you make a remap and then uh, that remap types these characters. So, yeah, so you end up in the situation where it's either a function or a typing of some sort. But what if I want to combine them? Well, I had the issue of trying to figure that out, and I did. Feed keys correctly. So there is this function in VimScript as well, but also in Lua, which is called feed keys. Holy shit, that works. Yeah, feed keys was essentially you provided the keys that you want to press and it presses them as if you do, but much more efficiently, obviously. Thing is, what if you want to pass some key like escape? You would expect this to immediately just work, and I did as well, but it doesn't in the initial feed keys. What you need to do is actually replace uh, the escape special key with something else. And what exactly that is, it's kind of difficult to work with because it's really not obvious. So to replace uh, what you expect, so this, to the key that 
feed keys accepts, you need to use something else. Uh, and in this case, the replace term codes function with this strange uh, true false true things. I came to this solution after going through quite a lot of Stack Overflow questions and responses, with none of them being actually straightforward and useful. But essentially now, with the functions of feed keys correctly, what I can do is make a remap. So imagine there's a remap there, and then I just do like function and then end. Uh, and then I just do feed keys correctly and specify my actual keys. So say, uh, what could I possibly want? So for example, this is a remap for insert mode. So what I want to do is go to insert to normal mode rather. Uh, so I press escape and then capital S to maybe replace a line. Not quite sure. Yeah, I guess because this whole line is out of context, so it complains, so don't worry about it, but usually it would work like this. So when we go back to my remaps for VS Code, I have this function end and all that, uh, and I use typewriter, it doesn't really matter what that does right now uh, but yeah typewriter now to execute a command after that before then I would use vim command and then normal the normal command and then do whatever usually that does what you want but is limited at least it works for me and in case you know how to go around the limitations of the normal command Please type that in the comments. I'm sure not only me, but many people watching this would be interested. But remember that when you're just trying to use something, you don't know everything. And reading Vim documentation just sounds way too geeky. Although I have done that. But essentially, now, instead of using vim command and all that, you just use feed keys correctly and then specify your keys. Essentially, what to do after this command or this statement or this whatever. Uh, and that's incredibly useful because uh, I have this multiply visual function. Let me actually show, show this off. When I press leader Q, it multiplies my selection. And if I don't select any, anything, oh, I am in normal mode, I press leader Q, it just duplicates whatever my cursor is on. So to make it work for visual mode, I couldn't just use the normal command, at least I couldn't make it to work. But if I use feed keys, but more precisely feed keys correctly, then I can just specify both the logic and the literal characters that I want to type. And now all of this works. So I copy whatever the selection is into the R register, then, well, let me show this off. Currently I select something. When I press Y to yank it, the selection is no more, but I actually want that selection. So I can paste what I yanked right after the selection. So I press GV, then escape. And now I can, uh, when I do P, here it is. So that's essentially what the remap is doing. And you can see Vim V count one. This handles um, the number that I put before yeah, it handles the number that I put before the command. So say I select this and then do five leader Q and it pastes five of those. All right, 
So I could use both logic uh, why can I jump? Here we are. I can use both logic in here and uh, actual like things. And feed keys correctly lets me do this. Because now I can create better abstractions. Say this multiply visual, I use it somewhere in my script uh, where I do leader Q is multiply visual. But what if at some point I need to use multiply visual instead of some other macro or remapping instead of having to rewrite it again which is kind of strange to do I can just use this function again in that remapping and that then that remapping can be an abstraction so a function again to be used in some other place as well which is far easier to work with and maintain than just having to rewrite things everywhere. So feed keys correctly. In the case that you want this code, I leave a link to my dot files in description of my every video. So you can just go and look at my init.lua and some other files as well. Uh, so you can just copy that code as well as my config in case you're interested so thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video press a like type some comment maybe you have a question or a suggestion definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content but most importantly stay fresh cheese bags and I'll see you in my next video bye bye